Alan, thank you. Happening tomorrow, the city of Jackson is teaming up with several organizations for a homeless outreach event. Yeah, we're joined by Linda Caldwell with the Office of Housing and Community Development, and also Reggie Wiggins with Central Mississippi Continuum of Care. Thank you both for joining us. Appreciate y'all being out here today. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Tell us a little bit about what's going on tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, the city of Jackson, uh, in collaboration with Nestar, uh, WJTV and celebrate Nestar Founders Day. We are doing a ha an outreach homeless event. This event will cover the uh, one of our ho hot spots that has been identified by our outreach team, mm -hmm. and this is Highway 80 and Ellis Avenue. So we want to go and meet the homeless population where they are and provide immediate services right then. That is great. What, what about the surrounding homelessness in Jackson and the surrounding community? It's widespread, is that correct? It is. Um, the continual care serves a um, fire, ge fire um, geographic area, that, which includes um, Kapile counties, um, um, Madison and Rankin County, Hines County and Warren counties. And in that geography, Hines County has the biggest um, homeless population. So a lot of our funds, a lot of our efforts are concentrated in this particular in Hines area. Hines County. Listen. Now, uh, so, uh, 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 now, I'm reading this straight off of here because I didn't know this. <laughs> so, so, folks, this is news to me. But there is a hotel where homeless individuals are housed. Is that right? Absolutely. Tell me how so, that works. The city of Jackson, we received uh, CARES Act money from HUD. All of our funding comes from uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development okay. with HUD. Okay. The city of Jackson does not provide any direct services. What we do is we allocate funding out to different nonprofits. So we saw, uh, when I say we, I mean the city of Jackson saw the need uh, for a temporary hotel for our homeless population. Mm -hmm. And this right here is a location where we can bring them in while we're providing additional services. That may be substance abuse treatment, finding them someplace to live permanently, uh, getting them work skills, providing jobs, and so forth. So we have this uh, temporary hotel that's here in Jackson. Uh, where as you know we are housing our homeless population for right now so we've got we can house them up to about 60 to 90 days okay. depending on the situation uh, we have about 18 to 25 rooms would you like to have more rooms than that absolutely mm -hmm. you know and it that, all of it just depends on our funding right and right. so forth but the need is there the need is there the need is great is very great i mean we see it here out here in south jackson uh continuously and we have watched it over the last few years increase i mean we we see i mean it, there's no way around it you are seeing more and more people <laughs> walking that obviously are homeless coming coming from out of the woods um uh, everywhere in front of certain spots, mm -hmm. you know, asking for money or asking for food and water. It is, the need is just really, really great. Um, what about mental illness? Is that, the, we often hear that that plays a role for many. Mental illness, drug abuse, um, um, those, are, those are two factors which makes it hard to house individuals. So um, that's one of the purposes that the emergency shelter serves. Um, it, it, it gets them in a place where they can be um, um, contacted, stable. Um, we, we can take our time to try to identify, and the director there has been good at this, to identify what their needs are to get them um, to where they need to be and eventually um, get them housed. That's good. So it's a real assessment that you do once you can get those people inside that hotel. Yes, ma'am. Oh, great. Uh, yes. We're some of us from here at uh, Channel 12, Next Star. That's our uh, overall company. Uh, and this is their Founders Day. And so this is what we've done for our Founders Day project this year. We're going to be serving meals out there with y'all at uh, Ellis Avenue and Highway 80 yes. at noon tomorrow. And we have some bags uh, for the people that we come in contact with, with some just basic necessities and that. Yeah, hopefully. we had uh, Stu Pot to identify some uh, items that were uh, considered necessity right now during yeah. this hot weather. Right. Uh, and 
their and JTV was kind to provide those items. And those so items, if, if people out there want to know when you're thinking, well, what could I do for, for the homeless population? It's chapstick, it's bug spray, uh -huh. and um, sunscreen. sunscreen. Yeah. We don't always think of those things as being, you know, you think food crackers doing all this, but really yes. those are some basic yeah. things that they really need. Exactly. Thank you both so much for being with us and for out there on the front line yeah. doing that as well as all the different organizations that are helping too. The Shower Power, the, uh, the Stew Pot. The Stew Pot, uh, uh, Salvation, the, Salvation Army. Salvation uh, Army. And some of our, our clinics, our home, James Ivory Homeless Clinic, Jackson Free Clinic, they'll be on, they'll be out there also um, tomorrow. Right. Uh, Hands Behavior Health, all of these services Wonderful. are um, Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we can't thank you enough. It's a such prop, a needed, A prop needed. just came floating in here. Oh, Let me yeah. see that. This, well, is, look. this is the bag that they handed out to us here for us to fill up with uh, bug spray and uh, lip gloss and things like that. So anyway, right. thank you all for being here. Thank, thank you. We'll see you so much. Appreciate that. Excellent. I have a programming note that I need to correct because I said that the um, Bold and Beautiful comes on at noon tomorrow. <laughs> That's actually our news time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I said it's it wrong. It's regular time, isn't it? It's regular time. Yeah, 1230 to 1 o'clock. Miss Joe called me up and corrected me and said, uh, don't come home unless right. I fix it. So, yeah. Well, yes, because she never misses it. Nope. <laughs> She and never misses the noon either. I was good. I didn't miss my news either. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you.